Hello everyone, it is Mr. Stubstep, and today I'll be doing another octet, but it's going to be a mix of these two sealed products. The first being the Eternatus V10, there's the back, and the Unified Minds 3-pack blister. I found this at the very, very back of a row of 3-pack blisters. It had a bunch of Sword and Shield and Rebel Clash ones, which I've already opened, and there was one Unified Minds, so I figured, why not? And then this Eternatus V10... I have opened up the Pikachu and the Eevee one, and I told myself I didn't want to open these in the first place because I didn't like the pack selection, but I figured I might as well fi finish up the trio, especially getting that promo in there. So let's get right into it. All right, so here are the two codes from both of those. And then first off, we have that Eternatus V promo, which it's a good looking promo. Eternatus is not one of my favorite Pokemon because it's kind of in that Ultra Beast well realm and the Ultra Beast just kind of They're just kind of weird to me. I still haven't fully grown on me. There there are some cool ones, but I Don't know. They're not my favorite Type of Pokemon for sure Then we have that Rowlet coin from that three-pack blister and the Vika Volt promo which Is pretty neat don't have this promo. I've never actually opened any uni Unified Minds, so I'm pretty excited. So I have the three Unified Minds packs, and then from that Eternatus V10, in case you were curious, it comes with two Darkness Ablaze, one Rebel Clash, a Sun and Moon base set, a Unified, or sorry, and a Fates Collide. So it's five packs total. And then I just mixed in the Unified Minds in there, so we keep a pretty good variety throughout. But let's roll right into it, starting out with Darkness Ablaze. Hopefully it'll start us out strong. I have pulled the best card from this set. So if you haven't seen that video, I recommend because it's definitely quite the surprise. Okay, yeah, I can't remember if these ones show the color or not. I have been giving away my codes again since my last video that I posted um, because somebody asked me nicely. So I figured, you know what? If you guys truly want the codes that badly and you're willing to ask, then I'll give them up because they're probably more helpful to you than they are to me. Familiar Bell and a Serena. All right, so pretty weak start. Unified Minds. Never opened any Unified Minds before, so I'm actually pretty excited. So I might go a little bit slower, though, admiring the artwork. I'm sure a lot of you have seen a ton of Unified Minds pack openings already on YouTube. But, you know, I saw it. It's a little bit older, not super old. still definitely... A modern set, but ooh, type null. Okay, so that's the symbol for Unified Minds. It makes sense. You got two little things kind of unified in the middle. So that's an easy one to remember. Pokemaniac. Silly. Lapras. That's a really nice artwork with Misty in the background. That's nice. Lick a tongue. Jesus' tongue gets longer and longer. Dwebble admiring that Moltres. Muna tucking Pikachu and Eevee in. Pikachu. Dang, these are this is actually pretty good artwork in this set. A B doof. Love all that stencil artwork. Reverse Hollow Rare Celebi. Beautiful. Beautiful. Simple but beautiful. And an Alolan Marowak. Sweet. Put that right there. Rebel Clash. Still looking for any types of bosses orders. But that's, that's pretty much all I want from the set. Maybe the Rainbow Rare Sonia as well. Oh. But yeah. As long as I get at least one ultra rare i will be content with this opening and in case you guys don't notice i have like a whole octet pack opening playlist and it i i would admit it has pretty good variety and i like opening eight packs at a time at least because ooh, reverse hollow nugget and a diggers bee i like opening eight packs at a time because usually it's enough packs to get at least one good hit because you know, it is pretty easy, pretty easy to get unlucky with, like, one collection box or something like that. But with eight packs, I mean, statistically speaking, with cards, I mean, you're not guaranteed a hit, but you're bound to get at least one Ultra Rare. So, oh, this is more Unified Mind. Sweet. Luminion, definitely I've forgotten about Pokemon. Gabite, before it becomes amazing. Tauros. Wow, this is a really nice set. Shroomish. Nice. Slack off, just slacking off. Drifloon, Dewpider, Dredagon. I feel like this is another forgotten about Pokemon. 
Reverse Hall of Noibat, and a Latios GX. Wow, that's a very pretty card. Sweet. I do not mind that at all. I'm definitely more fan of Latios, but Latios GX is really nice. I definitely appreciate that card. Put you back there right next to that Champions Path Elite Trainer box. Still waiting on my second one, my second pre-order from GameStop. They force you to be very patient. Got Sun and Moon base set. Shoot, I can't even remember what's good in this. I know there's some secret rare energies, but that's all I can remember off the top of my head. Crockerock, Pelipper, Experience Share, Rowlet, Lowland Grimer, Spiro, Grubbin, Firo, looking like a hurricane or a devastating wind, Reverse Hollow Switch, and Masquerade. Definitely seen that one before. All right, so got three packs left, and this looks to be the last Unified Minds, so quite excited to put these away and organize them because of I've never done anything from this set so I don't think I'm planning on opening a mass amount of cards from this set so I generally I can just put them in order and then put them in, in that order in a binder so not allowing for space in between Audino or Audino, Axew, some berries and eggs, Fletchender, Stunfisk, oh that's I was confused I said that's the sand that's the beach Onyx, that's a really cool Onyx artwork. Ooh, Finneon, now they've forgotten about Pokemon until Luminion. Magnemite Reverse, I kind of li like the reverses here. A little Junkyard or Mountainside, and a Slowpoke inside of GX Rainbow Rare. Oh my goodness, that was a good three-pack blister if I have ever seen one. Whew, man. I don't know if any of y'all watch Real Breaking Nate, but I know he would definitely appreciate this card with that Psyduck and Slowpoke tag team. That is beautiful. This is one of those cards that you just would have never expected them to make, but it's just so right. It's so right. That is beautiful. Nothing wrong with some Seeker Rares. That is amazing. Well, that definitely made my week. I did uh, that Walgreens opening earlier, and it just... Really, ah, oh, Fates Collide is backwards. I don't know if Fates Collide, if the colors even matter, but oh well. I'm not really expecting anything now. Altaria Spirit Link, Bent Spoon. I wonder if Alakazam had anything to do with that. Bronzor, kind of attack is that? He's just spinning in circles. Burmy, Carbink, Larvitar in a cave. Happy as ever because I bet he about to chow down. Diglett. Reverse Hollow. Oh, I thought that was a rare, but that's just an uncommon. Ooh, the reverses on this are pretty nice. And a Reuniclus. All right. Final Darkness Ablaze pack. Shoot, that rainbow looks real nice back there. Looks real nice. All right, this one shouldn't mess up. There we go. Final pack of this opening. If you guys have any, any things that you truly want to see or any recommendations or just feedback, I am... All ears for you guys, because I do these videos mainly to document, like, my pack openings. And I like to do other videos on my channel as well. And if you guys enjoy it, then that's just icing on the cake right there. First Hollow Semisage. And the final card of this opening is... Oh. A Mimikyu. Well, all right. That's all for this opening. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will go right into the recap as always.